Hello, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever in the world you are joining us from. I am Patty Alfonso, the Orgasmic Body Whisperer, and welcome to another episode of Orgasmic Living. And our topic today is joy. Joy as a source for living orgasmically. Now, if you're joining me live right now, or if you're watching this today, it is Halloween in the US. So yay, happy Halloween to everyone watching. And if you are watching in the future, even like tomorrow, then you're gonna notice that just like that, the holiday season is here. (laughs) And you know what happens once the holiday season begins, 2020 will be here just like that. Now, I'm bringing that up because I want to invite you to have the most orgasmic 2020 ever so far. The most orgasmic year of your life. And I'm bringing that up because one of the energies that contributes the most to your body and to living orgasmically is the energy of joy. It's the energy of joy. I was just talking with one of my pole dancing teachers and we were kind of joking about how there isn't that much embodied joy in the world. And I know that because a lot of people are always asking me like, what is orgasmic living? What is that? How do I do it? How do I create it? I even get a little like, whatever that is, which I love because I love poking people's buttons. And today we're gonna look at the energy of joy and how that can contribute to you living orgasmically. For that, I have an ask. I have a bit of a demand for you. And that is to take these next five, 10 minutes that we have together and lower your barriers and get really present with yourself, with your body, and with all of the areas of your life that you would like to be living orgasmically. Whether it is your relationship with your body, your relationships like your partnerships, your family relationships, any relationship that you have, whether it is you know health and fitness, or your work, your job, your business, your money flows, Just for right now, pick one of those and let's get really present with that particular area of your life. And this actually requires quite a bit of honesty with yourself and vulnerability with yourself, which then also requires a little bit of courage to really look at what it is that you're creating right now in that particular area get a sense of what it is that you would actually like to have like what would it take for that to be an orgasmic part of your life what would it take and if it's not a joyful part of your life then what would it take for it to be more joyful you know maybe you are in a relationship and it's good <laughs> it's going but maybe it's it's not everything that you would like it to be so getting really present with that and really clear with that hi Tammy hi Dean hi Annette hi honey um, and this is where the vulnerability and the courage comes in and maybe it's not a relationship maybe it's your business and you would like your business to just be something that you get to play with every day and it brings you joy and happiness and your money flows increase and it's this amazing contribution to your life. Maybe right now your job, your work, your business is like meh, meh. And as we head into these last three months of this year and as we start looking at what it is that we would like to create for 2020 and beyond, again, I wanna invite you to tap into what it would take for 2020 to be the most orgasmic year for you so far. To be the invitation for something completely different. Okay, 
So now that you've gotten that one area of your life, we'll do this one, one little piece at a time because we can't be here all day. <laughs> and I want to share with you three of my favorite, I call them the three A's to change anything. And we're going to add the energy of joy to what this is. And before I share those with you, I do want to invite you to come and play with me. I'm doing a masterclass, the number one mistake keeping you from living orgasmically. And we'll put the link somewhere. So it's next week, depending on when you're watching this. Um, but come and play with me on that. Okay, so the three A's to change anything. Number one, awareness. And for this particular video, we're going to call this the joy of awareness. And this is also that invitation to vulnerability and to presence and to honesty with yourself about what it is that you're creating in whatever area of your life you're focusing on in these 10 seconds. And you got to allow yourself to be a thousand percent times a godzillion aware of what is actually going on. And I'll use relationship as an example because it seems easy right now. So let's say you are in a relationship and like I said before, it's like, eh, okay. And you're kind of just on autopilot in the relationship. You're just choosing and being there and you know, it's not sparkles or fireworks anymore. It's not horrible, but it's not great. Or maybe it is horrible. Maybe it is horrible, but you're staying in it because it's a relationship and you'd rather be in a relationship than, you know, be single. <laughs> um, allow yourself to really get present with what is. Awareness. Allow yourself to be aware of all of the nuances of this particular area of your life. And when you have the joy of awareness, it becomes like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm choosing this again. Oh, I'm so cute. Okay, what else would be available right now? <laughs> and you can actually laugh at yourself and laugh at the things that you're creating. Because really, if we take ourselves too seriously, there is no joy. Like, that's the most boring. Um, and let yourself have that joy of awareness. Like, okay, this is where I am now. Gosh, and this is what I'd like to create. Wow, okay, cool, I have this awareness now of what's happening and what I'm creating now, plus the huge awareness of what I'd like to create. Holy shit, this is awesome. Like, that's a choice for joy of awareness. Another choice would be, oh my God, I can't believe I'm doing this again. I'm so stupid. I'm so terrible. Why am I doing that? Oh no, this is horrible. I suck. I didn't do that dramatically very well, but you get the point. How are you talking to yourself, right? And are you allowing yourself to have the joy of awareness, which is the very first step to change anything? Because if you're not aware that something isn't working, if you're not letting yourself know that something isn't working, and if you're not letting yourself know that you would like something different, then you're not being fully conscious and aware in that particular area of your life. And you're just gonna keep going on autopilot. So that's a choice too, you know, that's cool. Okay, so step one, awareness. If you're like super advanced, allow yourself to have the joy of awareness. Step two, allowance. Now, I didn't really hear about this word before I started using the tools of access consciousness. And basically, super simplified, allowance is to not judge yourself, to not judge anything. It is the space of total like, huh, hmm. I kind of like to add my favorite energies, curiosity and wonder to the energy of allowance. But allowance is like, oh, okay, wow, huh. I'm doing this again, this is interesting. It's not I, the whole thing again, I suck, I'm terrible, I shouldn't have done this, why do I keep doing this to myself, I'm never gonna be able to change this, like that's not allowance. In that moment, you're resisting, you're reacting, you're aligning, you're agreeing to whatever it is that's going on. So allowance is a thousand percent times a godzillion, having no judgment around whatever it is that is going on. From that space of allowance, 
you can actually make a different choice. Anything else, you are sticking yourself. You're getting stuck in that. So let's say, well, let's go with the relationship example. You're in a relationship. It's not really what you'd like it to be. You know you'd like something different. You're aware of that. Allowance is, wow, I created this again. Okay, now what else is possible? Now what else can I choose? Not, I suck, I'm terrible at relationships, I'm never gonna get this right, I'm never gonna find anyone. You know, that is all crazy judgments and head tripping and, and just insanity. And when you get yourself stuck in that energy, it makes it very, 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 very hard to go to the third A to change anything, and that is to take action. Now, if you wanna add joy to the energy of allowance, again, not taking yourself too seriously, you know, having your own back in that moment, allowing yourself to enjoy, you know, what you're creating, like, okay. For me, it's funny, um, this energy comes up for me a lot when I, I you, if you've been watching, you know I go to this morning boot camp, and I don't always. I'm, I've never been like a he, weightlifting. You know, I've never done this kind of workout before, so I don't always know which muscles to use or which areas of my body to engage. I don't always do the thing right. You know, I just kind of. But it happens so often and that in the middle of the exercise, I look around and I realize that I'm not doing it correctly and I just bust out laughing. And I laugh at myself for not getting it right because <laughs> you don't have to get it right. There is no right or wrong. There is no judgment. Like judgment is a big fat lie that we have bought and that we torture ourselves with. And if that's what you like, hey, at least have fun torturing yourself. <laughs> if you're going to do that, you might as well. But allow yourself, allow, to laugh at yourself. And just be kind to yourself in those moments. Anything not that is going to make it really hard to go to step three, which is, like I said, to take action inspired action, a different kind of action, uh, an action that is maybe 1% different than what you've been choosing before. If you're like me, you like to take inspired action that is a thousand percent different than what you were choosing before and your whole life shifts and changes and things fall apart and things get crazy. But beyond that, you are more joyful and have more of you. So wherever you are on that, Action is about choosing something different. There are areas in my life where I choose a little bit slower than in most times, if it's something that I am personally working through um, that I have to like stay really present with and do a 1% shift every day, then there's that. Or, you know, you know shit's not working. If you know it's not working and it's not what you do like, then I invite you to choose 50% different on any particular moment, whatever that is for you. And then allowing yourself to have joy with the different choices that you're making. Allow yourself to have joy with the different actions that you're making, even if the action that you took created something totally different that you had no idea was gonna happen. Maybe it created the complete opposite of what you thought was gonna happen. Would you be willing to be joyful about that? That energy of joy, if you can have it in every step of the way, if you can allow your body to be that energy, that is a huge door opener to living orgasmically. Before we end, I wanna invite you once again to join me for an upcoming masterclass, the number one mistake from keeping you from living orgasmically. And we'll put the link somewhere around there. But the last thing that I wanna talk about around this particular area is embodied joy. And I love, um, 
I think it's Dane who always makes a joke, you know, if you're happy, then let your face know it. <laughs> you know, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Like, if you're happy and you know it, would you allow your body to be happy with you too? Like today, I am super fucking pumped. I have so many creations going on. I have so many amazing people that I'm playing with right now. I fucking, oop, I did it. Love Halloween. Um, this is like my favorite holiday. I can't wait to go out and play and dress up. And, and, and as you can see, my body is in that energy of joy. My hands are flailing. My face is smiling. Embodied joy is when you invite your body to that conversation of joy. When you allow the joy that is innately available in your body to contribute to the joy in your life. My um, pole dancing teacher, which I kind of mentioned in the beginning of this video, um, there is a particular erotic creature that Sheila Kelly from S Factor has um, developed and put forth into the world. And that erotic creature is the joyful playmate. And we were laughing because there's a, an event coming up soon. And my teacher was like, yeah, there actually aren't that many joyful playmate erotic creatures out there. And I was like, what? So obviously I have a lot of joyful playmate. I don't know if you've noticed, but, and then when I really tapped into that energy, I was like, wow, yeah, there aren't, I haven't seen that many people that allow themselves to truly that not themselves, that allow their bodies to truly be joyful. So as I end, I wanna invite your body and I wanna invite you to allow your body to show you what is joyful for him or her. What does joy look like for your body? For me, it's a lot of really loud laughter. <laughs> My body gets all happy and wiggly and, and, and you know, I, I, you will often find me like if someone says something and my body's really happy about it, like both my hands will shoot up straight in the air. Um, and so what does it look like for you? What does it look like for your body? Quick recap, 2020 is right around the corner. I want to invite you to have the most orgasmic year of your life ever. Come play with me on my masterclass, the number one mistake, keeping you from living orgasmically. Three A's to change anything, the joy of awareness, the joy of allowance, and the joy of action. I adore you all. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so grateful for you and may you be and have as much joy as you are willing to have today. Mwah! I adore you all. Bye everyone.